Welcome back to another episode in the Tennessee Titans franchise and this time it's going to be the last episode in the regular season, 2025 regular season. I can see Denver Broncos away at Empire Field at Mile High. What a cool stadium name, right? Pretty weird if you ask me, but whatever. Um, we are pretty much on par with the Denver Broncos. I'm liking this. We really managed to close the gap to the other teams. Um, we are having a fantastic season. So, so good. We're already past the wildcard round. There's a lot of up and down here happening, but we're already through. So, means one more week of rest up for us. That is fantastic. Um, players to negotiate, not going to be taking care of that. Scouting the college players, that already uh, has been taken care of for the most part. Um, I loaded in one of the fixed draft files. I do hope that it works. Um, the uh, <laughs> the uh, draft bug was was squashed, but uh, yeah, it's not really sure that uh, you know everything will work as it should. Um, basically, the problem here was that um, when you looked at players, uh, the player models were kind of busted. I do expect this to be fixed here. Um, but yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. So keep your fingers crossed. This is EA after all uh, Not a lot to do. We're gonna be taking a look at the Denver Broncos immediately then doing weekly strategy player upgrades staff upgrades And then we're gonna be off into the game The quarterback position is uh, handled by KJ Jefferson. This is a star dev uh, quarterback here uh, Who of course got a quick makeover by me here um, one of those players, of course, impacted by the bug here. Blair Silvers and Nick Middleton. Three completely new faces at the QB position. Running back is Javante Williams, 25 and 91. Mayan Williams is the backup running back here. And Raheem Blackshear is the third string running back. Those two really looking pretty good. Mayan Williams did get a makeover again. Start of trade player. There we go. Good combination here. Fullback is Ryan Nall. The wide receiver room consisting of Marvin Mims, 23 and 86. Cortland Sutton, 29, 85. Two very, very good wide receivers. Brandon Cooks is here. Montreal Washington and Sean Long. That's a rookie. This is a really solid room. There's no standouts here, but just a really solid wide receiving core. Tight ends, Greg Dulcich. We've got Ben Sinot and Albert Okwik Bunham. Uh, ben Sinot here, uh, a normal dev player out of Kansas State, but he did get a quick makeover of course because he's the second tight end and um, as such he's almost the starter left tackle jordan morgan 24 79 overtaking dion dawkins who's injured anyways jordan morgan here also normal dev player but he is a starter which is why he got a quick quick uh, facial makeover ben powers 28 83 emery jones jr this is a rookie of course with a hidden dev trait um, who will be taking over this position pretty soon, I imagine. At center, Talibé Das and Alex Forsyth. Right guard, Quinn Minerts, Pierre Overton, and right tackles, Mike McClinchy and Sergio Gordon. So the starting uh, offensive line is really very solid. 79, 83, 79, 88, and 82. Very, very good. A lot of veterans, though. Um, aging will regress. So that, of course, is something that the Broncos general manager will have to take care of. Left edge, we've got veteran Jadavian Clowney behind him, Chauncey Golston. Good setup, actually. I reckon Golston will be taken over pretty soon. Right edge is Zach Allen, 28 and 83, and Barry Meadows. This is a rookie. D tackle, Bear Alexander is superstar. Osa, Odigizua, and Gabe Hall. Bear Alexander here with a superstar Dave trade, of course. Uh, Going to be leading the charge, 11th best ranked D tackle in the league. I like the strength, I like the tackle, player recognition, block shedding. Just really, really uh, a solid player at age 22. All right, I can only say X Factor incoming. So the front three, not really striking too much fear into me, but again, they're gonna apply pressure. They have high strength ratings. They are nasty to, to play against. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this. The linebackers, we've got Randy Gregory, 32-75. Aaron Mosby behind him. In the middle, Drew Sanders, Rashawn Evans, Chad Muma and Tucker Culver and of course Drew Sanders here out of the 23 draft 23 years old 89 overall start if trade just really looking very very solid eighth best ranked mid linebacker already he's going to be a beast in the future and right outside linebacker Baron Browning 26 81 Nick Bonito and Sheldon Johnson so again the linebacking group 
really, really higher rated in terms of their danger. I fully expect Randy Gregory to be a nuisance, Drew Sanders and uh, Roshan Evans are going to be nasty to stop. Baron Browning will be closing his stand as well. The cornerback room led by X-Factor Patrick Sertain, the second. Isaiah Oliver tagging along here. Riley Moss and Demario Mathis all within three points of each other. So very, very solid right there. And then we've got Faye and Hicks. Free safety Justin Simmons and X-Factor, but he's actually out injured. So Ben Ford will be taken over. This is a rookie with a normal dev trade. Did get a makeover because he's going to be starting. Strong safety Ryan Neal is a starter. Nick Cross behind him from the 2022 draft. Delarin Turner Yell is also here. And we've got kicker Jake Elliott and the punter Braden Mann. And that strong safety group is a nice, nice analogy to the rest of the secondary, the rest of the defense. They just have a really good depth. They're really deep um, and will be certainly giving us a run for the money. So weekly strategy time. How do we how do we approach this? Defend the inside run, defend the outside run. I'm not so sure. I feel like we should try and stop KJ Jefferson. The short pass stopping usually also stops the pass uh, the 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 run game pretty well. So that is something that we will take into consideration. We're at 95% at the moment. Um, so I will be going with splits for everybody. We will not be going with backups, but splits for everybody. There we go. But half pads anyways. So we should regain some of that lost fitness rating. And an inside run, exactly what I wanted to do anyways. 95 as well. And it's the last season game. I don't want any craziness. So we are going to go with splits for everybody. Half pads. And yeah, I don't expect a lot of experience points here anyways. Just want to get as many people into the playoffs at fully fit so 20 points uh, let's go 300 offensive yards uh, i think 450 offensive yards again is doable and here we're gonna start training three two one off we go all right so exactly what i was looking for a training without even one injury we've reduced the list here we've still got brewer on here for two weeks burks out for the season petite frere three weeks wells jr three weeks and glenn sprinkle one more week so he will be back as soon as we hit the playoffs that is pretty cool um, Brewer will be back for the divisional game um, and Wells Petit for, yeah Brooks would have made it exactly to the Super Bowl but uh, yeah <laughs> not willing to rely on that so there we go let's upgrade some players I don't know who will get upgrades probably not a lot though uh, because we're only getting a few experience points Peter Skoronsky he's really locked down that spot he's gotten very very solid very uh, reliable overall um, less injured I know I'm jinxing it right now but still I'm gonna say it though uh, playmaker addition here for Kyle Phillips gets a bunch of additional uh, ability upgrades here uh, we're gonna go with Zach Harrison being a uh, run stopper here 24 years old out of Ohio State already looking pretty nice uh, we might switch things around next season Dylan McMahon gets some points into being agile here you can see the additional uh, pimping that I gave him I gave him the braces for the elbows and the braces for the wrists and separate new gloves different shoulder pads so just to also add a little bit of the role playing there I think this is very important when you do play a franchise just have the uh, have the joy create storylines in your head and then usually that should play out quite well boost play action not that interested but the strength is something that i certainly want to boost here so here we go the entire offensive line gained an, uh, a boost on the strength buff right there and with that said we're gonna head into the final season game against the denver broncos in power field at mile high there we go broncos home stadium the players showcase who will this show chigo Conquo season stats 1160 approximately three touchdowns 436 yards after catch and this is jc jefferson the uh, quarterback for the denver broncos the broncos showing off the uniforms here it's the home uniform of course really liking the orange and the dark blue it's a really nice look here fantastic design 
I'm also liking the Titans uniform, of course, no questions asked, but it is still a very clean look. Very good colors that really, uh, you know, distance them from each other. Similar to the Titans, it's just extremely well thought through. But uh, I reckon it's just easier if you have colors like these than if you have to work with colors like, I don't know, yellow or green or brown and orange. These are always going to be, always going to be a challenge. So here we go. Kicking things off at the 25 yard line. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. We're going to get going now. Let's, let's immediately try and uh, test out their uh, pass, uh, pass defense here. Yikes! Had to get it away. Levis almost taken down here. We've got a lot of notable inactives. I think we're compensating well though. Second and ten. Conquo Phillips Rogers. Clancy also going over to the left. There we go. And this is Clancy heading towards the inside. Taken down by Evans, number 45. Clancy is certainly an important player here for us. Being my second tight end, I need a player that can be versatile, strong in the tackle, you know, strong when going into challenges. Smacked away without even so much as a second guess. Number 48. Is that Chad Mooma? Gonna check up later. There we go. Let's go with this here. They're of course adjusting. I think I could try going for Phillips here. There we go. Number 23 and he doesn't get me. Number 43 and kaboom. Zach Allen out with an injury. That's number 99. And here we go. That was a fantastic run by Kyle Allen. Uh, Kyle Phillips. Kyle Allen. <laughs> Immediately pushing us forward to the seven yard line. Didn't get a replay there. And Derrick Henry just parry forward and that is a fumble. That is a fumble. Did we recover? No. All right, our defense manages to turn it over but we lose a lot of yards here. We're back at our 32. And the run game is impacted by a lot of mistakes here. Hmm, number 37 was there, kind of going, yeah, no, nah, I was there, and I just said, nope. So, which one do we go with? Let's go with a drive wheel. Looking for a short route, Kyle Phillips. Had a good start today. You could say that was pass interference by uh, Cross here. Yeah, there we go. Good. I agree. We're going to accept this, of course. Let's go. Gun corners. Kyle Phillips. Off we go. Off towards the left-hand side. Wow, a lunging catch here. Phillips is on freaking fire, man. He is on freaking fire. Absolutely fantastic. Jump catch. Reeling that one in. Gonna go towards the left here. Spears between uh, guard and tackle. How much yardage should we get? Three yards. But at least we're not fumbling it. Like a certain someone who I would have never expected this to happen to. Derrick Henry, man. Mr. Reliable. But this is what the regression does. Yikes. Riley Moss with an injury, number 37. Very quickly. Breaking through our offensive line. And that was a horse. That was a horse. There's a horse in the building, guys. There is a horse in the building. Oconquo and Bute. Here we go. Perfectly run here by Oconquo. Pushed down. 99 yards already. For Will Levis. Here we go. Let's go with the dagger. Bute, Rogers, Oconquo. Bute here would be my preferred receiver. And that doesn't even get anywhere close. All right, I do want to change one thing though. On the depth chart, I think that 
I should have called Dowell ahead of Keishin Booty. Can't really put my finger on it, why? And there we go, this is the dude, this is number 34, I gave him the super old cool helmet. Uh, old school helmet. The cool old school helmet. Alright, I'm getting things done. I'm getting sentences completed. This is me having smart time. Ooh, yikes. Deflected at the last second. Number 23 following along all the way here. That was actually a very good stop. A very important. Would have been in. Would have been in. Alright, Chris McAdams. And they are setting up expertly here. Chris McAdams trying his best to get forward. Fourth and four. And uh, we're going to go for a field goal here. 33 yarder. Evan McPherson. Two bum rushers on the outside. Boom. And there we go. There we go. Good kick. Between the sticks, we get the first three points. Come on, defense. Defense stops him at the four. Wow. All right. Chris McAdams, second quarter. Off we go. Do we find space? Trying to find my way forwards here. One rush, six yards. Didn't we have another successful rush before? Am I confusing things? Left hand side run. Ty J Spears. Next up. Let's go. I want to see good blocking here. And we break through, get a first down. Three rushes on the day. Three yards on average. Today, not really a lot. Uh, is working here in terms of the run game. We're still going to try and keep, uh, you know, testing their defense. Because I think if we break through once, we will really have a nice pickup. Noah Clancy has an injury here. We'll have to be checked out. Quick slants. A Z spot. Yeah, let's go with a wheel post drag. Gonna go left. That's Logan Thomas. Conquo on the long route. Rogers on the deep route. I would love to get him free though. It's not going to happen though. Oof, Logan Thomas here. Third and four. Barry Alexander now number 90. We're going to keep Logan Thomas. Give more time to, uh, to Noah Clancy to heal up again. It's no, it's not really used just pushing back players and, you know, just hurrying them along. Kyle Phillips here, moving ahead. Nice pick up here. Round the 34. Still in our half, though. Still in our half. Inching forwards. 2 minutes 15 is what we still have to play. Let's try and get this one here done. Can we? No, we can't. 2 minute warning. 3 and nothing currently as we're hit with the 2 minute warning in the first quarter. Verticals. Let's go. Keisha Booty. We've got Phillips. And here we go. Pressure was on. I think I didn't set him as my slot wide receiver. Let me just take a look at this one here. Slot wide receiver. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. I think Colton Dowell really has a lot to offer. He's big, he's quick. Let's try this one here. It's just a, just a big dis di distraction actually. Chigo Conquo with a nice pick up here. 50 seconds and one full minute to go. Verticals again. Chigo Conquo, if he breaks three, he's immediately available. Rogers is a player that I'll go for. And there we go. This is exactly where I want to have my tight end stopped here by number 23. A lot of effort though. But Chigo Conquo, so, so good. So, so good. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Can we just slice him apart again? Oof. I kind of felt like he could have gotten that one. What do you guys think? I think that was doable. We're going to look for Rogers now. Catch, turn. Take a first down. 
trying to go forward here but a stop by number 41 that's Sanders Drew Sanders flip it Kyle Phillips going towards the left hand side slightly tired of course taken down at the one yard line all right a quick time out now everybody take a breath including myself and you as well in case you're absolutely captivated here let's set up a mesh spot here I'm gonna set up this here Conquo Dowell one yard and of course we're gonna try and run it there we go Taiji Spears finds it and we're in another beautiful touchdown here out of a clever audible I think those are working really well the Titans playbook is actually very flexible really quite exciting and here we go seven seconds to play still in the first uh, half all right interesting also what is very interesting is that they almost go back at us here yikes <laughs> almost got back at us within a few seconds man within a few seconds they almost pushed back into our own end zone and our defense has to do a lot of work to stop in there all right so short pass time and here defend the deep pass can i kick it in the field goal i'm gonna do that do i get something <laughs> do i get extra points I know I don't I know I, I know that I don't get extra points but that would be funny though wouldn't it kind of like a special award for uh, having a super strong foot there we go where's the gap Chris McAdams getting stuck here pushed backwards only two yards I tell you what I'm really pondering if I should give some key players some time off Ooh, lordy. Number 45. Sean Evans. Third and eight. And as I was saying, the defense not to be trifled with. Chuga Conquo. I've got Phillips on a good route. Who will get free? It is Phillips. Can we evade everybody? No. Nope. Barry Alexander out here. Again, time is stopped. A lot of the time, though. A lot of the time. Phillips over towards the right hand side sometimes those are defenders oh and yeah middle linebacker didn't move there 12 for 20 12 for 20 let's go with the mesh spot here got a conquo on the turn route i've got phillips i've got clancy and there we go my backup tight end absolutely mauled here by number 34 34 coming over just stopping him that's Ford safety does what he has to do of course Colton Dowell left hand side do I hit him do I go for him of course I'll go for him perfect man all right well let me just put this out there I think I'm gonna elevate him I'm going to elevate him above Bootie because I feel like he just has more to offer. Bootie is just a super quick runner. Wow. Knocked out. Okay. That was a close one. That was a close one. Jadavian Clowney, of course. Not a player to be trifled with. Red zone scissors. Can we get the route completed before we get rushed? Was he inbounds? And yes, he was. Chris McAdams, that is his speciality. Just breaking out there, really rushing past defenders. And we're going to go for a halfback dive here. Or not. Now we're going to go dragon spacing. All right, pushing forward to the one yard line. And now... 
We're gonna go for a full back dive. In the final moments of this third quarter, or not. <laughs> I'd rather say not. I don't know what's going on with the Broncos offense though, but they're not getting the lot done, right? I think our defense is just really, really, really piling it on there. And there we go. Ty J Spears again in the end zone. The second touchdown for us. And here come the Broncos. As we stop them again at the seven, they just can't get scoring. And now, final quarter. Tell you what. Tell you what. I will be using uh, Malik Willis to kind of clean this game now. Um, I'm not willing to risk injuries to key players anymore. Oh, wait, I'm going to put him in the second spot. Gute will be the starter here. Let's put it like this. I think this works. Uh, Clancy, you take over. Thomas, I don't want to see any injuries now. So this is why I'm putting in a lot of the reserve players. Um, it is not worth it. It is not worth it right now. So Josh Pascal, uh, Adisa Isaac, let's go. We've got Jaden Peavy. Zach Harrison's playing anyways. Uh, we're going to put Monty Rice and CJ Mosley in there. Uh, Shaquille Barrett. Let's go. Chris Farley. Yeah, Sean Murphy Bunting. And uh, Joseph will be taken over here. Uh, let's go with Burgess. And let's go with Eric Rowe here. And this is going to be it. Just want to make sure that we don't lose any vital players. And off we go. Chris McAdams. There we go. And this is a beautiful gap. Can we evade? Can we get a stiff arm? Well, we tried. <laughs> Up to the 23. 2 minutes 40 remaining. And Malik Willis. Does what he does best. Getting stuff done. He was so good when we had an injury to Will Levis. Uh, during the course of the season. And Noah Clancy here. Playing the role of the starting tight end very well. Gabe Hall with an injury. It's number 11. That's one of those draft bug dudes. It's just a really silly bug, by the way. Took him two months to fix that. Two freaking months. That is just crazy. There we go. Chris McAdams. Such a sneaky dude. Did you see that? Going left, right, spinning. Well, not spinning, but just like a rabbit. There we go. Left hand side. Chris McAdams. Off we go. Do we find space here? Not this time. Two yards only. Two minute warning incoming. There we go. 17 nothing versus the Broncos. Do we manage a shutout? Do we manage a shutout? Here we go. Noah Clancy, third and five. It wasn't as much a tackle as a slight shove, I would say. But uh, it worked. That's what counts. So, Colton Dowell now. Let's go. Cation Booty has a nice route as well. Do you see that, man? He just catches the ball, even in tight spaces. I think his size is really helping here. I'm extremely surprised. I had him down, you know, he's age 26. I had him down as a player. Well, you know, he's going to be a little bit meh. And who knows if he'll really uh, produce. Chris McAdams picking up what seems like an injury. Shouldn't be something too bad here, though. Cougar 19. There we go. Wow. Zach Allen with another injury. Number 99 here. A halfback stretch, and we, of course, are going to utilize something clever here. Let's go this one here. Going to be looking for Booty or Clancy. Throw on the run. Fearless completed. That is good, but fourth and seven. So we're not really closing any gaps here, but 52 yards. Again, doable for our kicker, Evan McPherson. So, so good. Perfectly timed kick. Puts that between the sticks there. Kaboom. 
and we're running away with this game. Even if we have the uh, backup players on the field. 20 versus 6, the defense unable to hold them. I think there the difference did show a little bit. Players like Jeffrey Simmons do make a difference. But 27, I think we could live with this. And here we go. Hands clap and congratulations. 64% completion rate for Will Levis, zero touchdowns. KJ Jefferson, not KC Jefferson, or JC Jefferson, I think I said. Nice, no, KJ. 112 yards, 35% completion rate. Yeah, really, really limited. Malik Willis did stellarly here. The run game again, pretty rough. Spears with two touchdowns, that was good. Chris McAdams was good. Overall, zero fumbles. Um, by the way, speaking of fumbles, Derrick Henry. Did have one and he got injured. That was awesome. Kyle Phillips, 112 yards, 67 for Chico Conquo, Brandon Cooks. We did have one or two ball drops, but nothing too critical. Uh, Masis Al Shair was great here. Um, right up, let me just go back here. Ben Ford was the total tackle leader, tax follows quite a few. How many sacks? One for Jeffrey Simmons, Kenneth Murray Jr., Tier Tart teaming up here, zero interceptions. And Evan McPherson again 100% field goal completion rate and again we see two new injuries we're just collecting them yikes and Derrick Henry's out with a broken collarbone for the freaking season oh my god that is horrible that is really horrible who else is new let's go by position all right Derrick Henry's out for the season and then we've got Traylon Burks Antoine Wells Jr. here is out. Uh, Joe Alt is out. Aaron Brewer is out. Nicholas Petit Frere and Glenn Sprinkle. So Joe Alt is a new addition here. Man, Derrick Henry, this really sucks. But uh, I'm going to place him on the injured reserve right now. It is not It's not going to help. We can't do anything here uh, apart from just uh, take a look at our practice squad. Is there anybody in there that we can utilize bring into the team here uh, on the running back position. Yes, there's someone in a JD Bradley. That is a rookie. Um, yeah, we're going to bring him in. Um, we're going to have to utilize what we have in here. And I'd rather take one of these dudes than just bring in uh, anybody from the uh, from the free agents pool. So there we go. Kind of solved that problem. We're going to have to redo him. Just give him a new makeover. Um, but yeah, injuries are a big, big thing this season. Um, but I, nevertheless, 16 and 1. <laughs> 16 and freaking 1 with around, I don't know, 4 to 5 starters injured half the season. Really good signal for how this team is doing, how, how well we are uh, composed, how well we are built. Um, so really happy about that. Uh, as for the game, 27, I think it's a clear language. Uh, I will be skipping the wildcard round, going straight to the divisional, of course. Um, I will be doing that next episode. For now, I'm going to be cutting it, saying thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do drop me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. It helps me grow, as you know. And as always, thanks so much for being here. And see you next time. <laughs>